Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Hannah. And today I thought we would just recreate some of the favorite outfits that I've pinned and been liking on all my different social media platforms for the winter. I feel like this winter season has flown by and I haven't really been able to experiment in what I've been wearing. I've been wearing pretty much the same thing every single day or a similar recreation of the same thing every single day or every single time I go to dinner. And I just want to, I don't know, experiment a little bit more and try to use what I've liked on Pinterest, on TikTok, on Instagram and try to recreate it. So I have outfits they're a little bit different when I go to get dressed for dinner or the day or work or any occasion. I am actually going to New York, not this weekend, the following weekend. And this is kind of like a pre-New York packing maybe, finding some outfit in space for my New York trip and what to wear. I just don't want to be wearing the exact same thing. I feel like this winter also flew by, so I wasn't really... I don't know, being creative in what I was wearing. So I thought this would be a fun video to kind of recreate some of the outfits that I've been loving, but also give myself some info into changing it up a little bit when getting dressed in the morning. So I have a few outfits that I have been loving recently that I have saved on my camera roll that we are gonna recreate today. So the first one being this outfit, and I know it's very simple, but I just love this all black moment. I think it's very chic, very clean, very classic. And I love how it just gives off this very professional look, but also very casual in how it's a little bit oversized. It's very minimal as meaning like there's no belt. There's really no accessories. It's just very sleek looking. And I don't know, I really wanted to, something drew me to this. Probably not surprised because I feel like this is very me, but I thought I would try and recreate this and I feel like this could be a really cute outfit for New York with a nice little trench coat or something or a wool coat, something like that to go with it because I will definitely need a jacket with this with the cold weather, especially in New York. So let's see what I come up with. So this is what I came up with. This is what I could find in my closet. I don't think I totally love it. I am struggling with the jeans to be honest. These are old Levi jeans and they're just super high waisted. I never really wear them. I don't wear them really at all. I probably should get rid of them because of high waisted they are. They're like really really high, high waisted. I guess I bought them I don't know when high waisted was like super in but I just wish they were more mid-rise. I actually am really, really thinking about purchasing the Levi dark denim jeans that I just got the 501s in their true black because those jeans are by far like the best Levi jeans ever. I accept vintage Levi's because those obviously are unmatched, but they are so comfortable and I love how they fit. They're the perfect mid-rise they lay really nicely and I just feel like number one I wish these were a little bit more true black I don't really have a pair of true black jeans I can't find my other Levi loose straight jeans that I have that are more on the lower rise I feel like that would even work a lot better even though those are washed black I feel like that might look better I just feel like these high rise just and at a weird point with the button down tucked in. I don't know. I just don't like the jeans, but I love this look. I just don't have the right jeans for it. I picked my Durf Avenue black uh, button down. It's just a go-to of mine. And it's the only black button down I own. And I love how it's oversized and just like that relaxed look that she was going for in the photo. So I love the top half. The jeans, I just don't, I don't know. They're number one, way too high-waisted. I'm about to sneeze. Sorry about that. And then I 
they're just too tight I think around here I just want them, them to fit a little bit more looser I feel like these are more on the wide leg a little bit style I don't know they're just not working with me and then I just have on my loafers my vintage loafers that I got from Mirth and then in regards to a bag which I'm really upset because I feel like I would have nailed this look if I just had the right jeans they just just aren't doing it for me with a bag. I'm gonna take my W concept, not W concept, my modern weaving bag. This I am obsessed with. I got it for Christmas and it has just been my go-to bag. I feel like it looks good with absolutely everything and it's a very similar style to what she's wearing in the photo. Now she doesn't have a jacket on so I could either stick with an all black moment with this wool vintage jacket I got from Shop Vintage Collection and do that, which I feel like looks really, really good. Just very, like I said, clean, chic, minimal. And I feel like that's the whole vibe of her look. Or if I'm feeling a little pop of color, and in pop of color I mean a beige pop of color, I could do my suede vintage trench coat, which I just feel like any opportunity I have to wear this, I want to because it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I've been loving beige and black together. Now I just feel like this gives off obviously a very different vibe, so it just depends on what I'm feeling that day, but I feel like I could also do this and this would also look really good. I just am just not loving the jeans. I think I really am going to purchase the true black jeans if they're still in stock and they're having a sale because Levi's has sales all the time and I got my blue ones for like $50 half price which was amazing so I think I'm really going to do that if they're having a sale because I just love those jeans so much if you're on the hunt for a good pair of jeans highly recommend those because they are so good but this is the final look well actually not even the coat because she doesn't have a coat I guess this would be the final look and how I recreated it I'm just not loving the jeans so we're starting off not on the strongest note but I feel like I completed the look I feel like it's very similar give oh I just started calling someone. I feel like it's a very similar, you know, comparison to what she has. I just personally just don't like this high-waisted of the jeans, and I just feel like these jeans aren't giving what I want them to give. But anyway, the next look that I'm going to recreate is this one, and I'm actually, I love this look, but I have no idea how I'm going to recreate it. So we're going to try our best. I just think this is so cute and if I am able to recreate it with what I have in my head, I feel like this would be such a good New York outfit to take with me because it's comfortable but also like looks chic and put together and I feel like it's very weather appropriate with a coat. So it has a lot of layers and I love this skirt and belt and I've been wanting to wear more skirts recently. So we are going to give this look a go. Okay, here is the next look and I love how this came out. It definitely is not exactly like the inspo picture but I feel like this is the perfect example of taking inspo and using what you have in your closet and coming up with your own version of it. I love everything, but I wish I had black boots because I feel like this outfit would look so good with black boots, but I only have my suede tall brown boots. I don't own a pair of black boots. I've been on the hunt for a pair of black boots for so long, like tall black boots. Just can't find ones that I am in love with that aren't so expensive. So if you have a favorite pair of tall black boots, definitely let me know because I want to wear this outfit in New York, but I want to wear it with black boots. So 
I feel like I need to order some before New York so I could wear this outfit because I have to go to an engagement party and I feel like this would be the perfect outfit because it's not too casual but it's not too dressy and with black boots it would look so good but I still like it with the brown boots I just feel like the black would just tie this outfit all together now if it was in the spring I would probably wear ballet flats and I feel like this outfit would look so cute with ballet flats for the spring if you live in a warmer climate ballet flats with this would look so good but I could also do brown boots and just have I feel like even with this I would probably wear like a brown cardigan instead of a black and that could be really cute but I just love the black and the brown together and I love the suede for winter. I'm a huge suede person. Anything and all things in brown suede send them my way because I am so obsessed with that. I just love a good suede as you can see. My suede boots and my suede skirt. But I love that I found this outfit because I would never think of putting these pieces together in this way and I just feel like it looks so good. I have on this most of these pieces are unfortunately vintage but this is a vintage black little cardigan i found in florida this white tee is from lisette it's the margo tee i'm in love with this tee i feel like it's the perfect fit and i like how it's like a thick material instead of a super thin it's not see-through at all and then this black belt and it's old from naked but it's just a simple black belt you can find these literally anywhere. And then this vintage brown suede skirt that I got. I want to say I got this in Florida too. And then these boots I got off the real real. But I, I love this so much. I think it looks so good. And then with the coat, I probably would wear my black wool coat. Just because I feel like it's very clean and simple and I just feel like it would look nice tying in the black I just need to get black boots please help me out and then this bag I probably would wear just because it's again minimal simple doesn't take away from the outfit but I just love it so much and it's my everyday bag so that's probably what I would wear with it but yeah this is probably my favorite outfit so far I mean, I've only done two, so yeah, because I didn't really like the first one. But I feel like out of all of these, either, this is going to be my favorite outfit. I just love, I love the cardigan with the tee. I just feel like I would never think of putting these out, these pieces together. And I have this skirt and I always want to style it. I just don't know what to do with it. So that's why I, I feel like I was drawn to that inspo photo because of the skirt and the brown suede skirt. I felt like, okay, maybe this is a way I could style the skirt. And I love how it turned out. I just need black tall boots. But yeah, this is the next outfit, and I love it. Okay, the next look is, let me see. Okay, definitely a more casual outfit, unlike this one. And I just love turtlenecks. I've been so into turtlenecks this fall and winter. And I just haven't been wearing, I've been wearing like more of a loose fitted turtleneck like in my turtleneck sweaters. But I want to start styling more tight fitting turtlenecks. So I feel like that's why I pinned this because of the turtleneck. And I just like how casual it is, how simple it is. And yeah, I just, I just loved it. So let's see if I can recreate this one. I feel like this is also a very good New York outfit inspo for day to day like walking around and running errands and things like that so let's see what I come up with but yeah I love this look so much okay I love this look I love how it came out I think this is so cute this is definitely such a good transitional outfit from winter to spring with the turtleneck or fall to winter any transitional season I feel like this is perfect I love the turtleneck underneath the trench coat. I love how it's just peeking through right here and 
Yeah, I'm obsessed. I feel like I added something a little different. I added a little pop of color with the blue satin ballet flats. This is definitely a more spring or transitional shoe that I would probably wear right now. Same with the coat. I probably would wear a more heavier coat, but also for the winter. But I love this and I love it with the pop of color. I'll back up so you can see. It's just absolutely adorable. I actually ended up ordering, I found somebody on Etsy that was selling these ballet flats in my size. So I found them in a six and a half. So I'm going to sell the sevens that I bought for my cousin for Christmas. But I still feel like these would be, because I found two pairs and I sent it to my cousin. Uh, but I still feel like these would be a little bit big on her because they do slide off a little bit. So I definitely need to get something to make them a tad bit smaller, but I think she has a little bit of a smaller foot than me. So she might even need to size down to a six. So, but I love them. I think they look so good with this outfit and I love the pop of color. It's a little bit new for me. And then for the winter, I probably would style them with these suede brown boots um, from Beckett Simonon. I will do that now because obviously that's a more winter shoe and probably what I would be wearing right now. And I love these boots so much. They're also so comfortable. I wore them in New York. I think I mentioned that when I shared these shoes, but I wore them in New York and I did not get blisters or anything and they were brand new. So that just goes to show the quality. But yeah, so I'd probably wear these boots with them now. And then when it gets a little bit warmer, I love them with the little pop of blue satin. I love satin at the minute, that material. I think it's gonna be really big. And then I probably would just do this black purse just for an everyday look. I don't really have a brown everyday purse, but yeah, love this. I think it's so cute. And I love the turtleneck. This turtleneck, I'm going to tell you where everything's from. This turtleneck is a thrifted Ralph Lauren turtleneck that I got in Florida. This is an old H&M trench, I think. I think it used to be my mom's. And then my still here jeans in the childhood, class, not classic. These are the light wash. Um, and then boots. So yeah, this is the next look and I love it. And I feel like I might be wearing this in New York if it's on the warmer side. I don't know how warm it's going to be. I feel like weather these days has been switching non-stop. Some days it's so weirdly warm and then some other days it's freezing and snowing. So I feel like that's definitely February and March for you. So Depending on the weather in New York, I feel like this would be such a cute day outfit. But let's go to the next one. This one, I love Alana Tobiner. She is so cute and I love her style. And I just feel like this is a very me, a very uniform outfit for myself. So I thought I would give it a go. I feel like this is kind of a boring outfit to recreate, but I have this trench coat that I don't wear a lot, so I like that she was wearing a trench with it. So I'm going to try it on with that and see what I think. I also forgot to mention that I also like it without the coat. I like didn't even show you guys it without the coat. But I think I really like how it looks underneath. It's very simple, but the, trend, uh, the turtleneck is in an extra large, so it's a little bit oversized. But I like how just simple it lays. I feel like this is a very 90s outfit inspired look and it's just super simple. But I like it over the jeans, very minimal. I feel like this is a very similar vibe, but more casual to the first outfit, how it was just very clean and sleek. I feel like this is like that, no accessories or anything like that, just simple. So yeah, this is how it looks underneath and I love it just as much. Okay, this was a very easy one for me because I feel like this is typical of what I wear, but I have this suede black trench 
and I just feel like I don't get enough wear as I should with it. It's so beautiful. It's a Lee vintage black trench that I got in Hamden, Maryland. And I absolutely love it. And when I saw she was wearing a similar trench but in leather, I was like, okay, maybe this is a way I can style it. I know this is a very simple, easy piece, but I feel like, again, it's not like a heavy jacket. So I want to wear like my wool jacket in the winter time. And then sometimes I just forget about it and then it gets too hot and then I can't wear it. So I wanted to save this so I remembered to style this and wear this trench because I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous and I love it with these jeans. These are the Levi's jeans I was talking about in the first outfit that I want in true black. They're honestly just the best jeans. They fit right below my belly button and or they hit right below my belly button and they are just so soft and comfortable. How they wear is just unbelievable. I love them. So I just want them in more colors to be honest. And then I have on my same Lisette white tee and then this cashmere Everlane uh, crew neck and then the trench. And then I just paired these, I think these are from Reformation, yeah little kitten boots um, just to dress it up for a more like dinner look. I feel like this is a very casual but nice looking dinner outfit. Yeah, I love it. I honestly might bring this to New York. This is a perfect pre-New York packing but not even really trying to do it. I just kind of thought about it right before I started filming. I'm like, okay, I could bring pretty much all these outfits to New York and then I don't even have to think about it. And then again, I could just bring this bag with it. And I feel like in New York, sometimes it's nice to have outfits that you can wear during the day into night because you're walking around doing stuff and then you don't feel like going back, you just feel like going straight to dinner sometimes. And I feel like this is the perfect outfit to like take you along your day. So yeah, this is the next look and I, and I love it. I mean, this is very me, so I knew I was gonna love it. I'm not shocked. But yeah, I just love her. If you don't follow her already on TikTok or Instagram, highly recommend. She's amazing. She actually is just just announced that she's pregnant, so she's gonna have a lot of different content. But all of her outfits are amazing. Or maybe you're expecting as well, or you're pregnant, you can get some probably cute, fashionable outfit ideas from her. Um, but yeah, love this so much. Okay, the next look is another TikToker that I really love following for style and fashion inspo. Her name's Natasha. And this really, why I say this is because it reminded me of my Lauren Magnugan uh, wrap that I got for Christmas. Hers is definitely longer, but I feel like it gives off the same idea. And I just love the black and white color scheme. It's just really chic looking, so let's recreate it. Okay, this is another one that I feel like I kind of executed it, but not to how I would like to, and it's still the jeans. The jeans are what went wrong again. These are my silver leg -like jeans with the slit. And the only thing about these jeans, I'm like out of breath because I've been running up and down the stairs, but the only thing about these jeans is it's hard to find boots if you want to wear boots that kind of go as high as the slit uh, that aren't like tall that will cause like a crease or a line in your jeans. So that's the struggle that I'm having. So I wish I just had straight leg white jeans. I could easily wear my bone still here ones. I feel like that would look the best, but I wanted to try and find for the sake of the video some white jeans. I just don't love these. I really want to get my hands on the still here everyday jeans that they just launched in milk or in basically white. I They had the white in the cool jeans for the longest time, that cool jean style. I just personally, they just wouldn't have looked good and I wouldn't have liked them on myself. It was the kind that had the drawstring and they were really low rise, which me and low rise jeans just I just don't, I like a good mid-rise, uh, not really low-rise, and I just feel like I wouldn't like the drawstring 
look on myself. They're really cool. I just wouldn't like them personally. So, but when they came out with the everyday jeans, I'm like, oh my gosh, those are amazing. Those are perfect. And I just know I will love them. So I am saving up to get the white in the everyday because I just feel like those would be the perfect white denim jeans for me. But I like the idea of this outfit. I just don't really like the jeans with it. But I just tied the wrap part in the back so I have the option of wrapping it all the way up if I want to. But I also like it open like this. I think it looks good. I've never worn it like this. Just open and I really like how this looks. And then I have my Lisette tee on again and the same naked belt. And then these boots are uh, thrifted from I think they're Mango and Ebony got them for me at Goodwill when we did our thrift swap. So this is the look and then again, same bag. I would wear the same bag with everything pretty much. I like it and I like the idea of it if I had different jeans. But this is my take on it with the things that I had in my closet. Okay, the next and final look that I'm going to recreate is this one from Gabby Ross, Rose Wrestler. I have no idea how to pronounce her last name, but another TikToker that I love, her style. And she just is really good at pairing like button downs and blazers and layering pieces. So I really liked this whole layering aspect of this outfit. And... I'm going to try and recreate it. I love this outfit. I feel like this is such a good one. I would never think to tuck in a cardigan into my jeans and tuck in my white tee, but I love how it looks. I think it's such a good way to layer multiple things in the winter time. You can even obviously throw on like a wool coat and a sweater. Actually, I'll go get my wool coat to show you. Hold on. Okay, so I like how she tucked in the cardigan because I feel like it, I don't know, allows for the blazer to lay better on the jeans and then for the coat not to look so bulky. I feel like this is such a good little layering hack, not really a hack, but if you tuck it in, I feel like it lays nicely and then you have your blazer and then your wool coat and it just doesn't feel as bulky and you have multiple layers on to keep you warm. But I just love this look. Now I think I have, or I know I have the exact same cardigan that she does, just in a dark brown. She has a more camel color. I love this cardigan. It's from Old Navy. It went very popular on TikTok. It like blew up. And I went to my local Old Navy and they had so many. So I have this chocolate brown one and I love it. And I just thought this one worked better because it went nicely with this blazer and her blazer has some texture. You can't really see, but mine is, has a pattern to it. So it is different colored, even though it's not as noticeable as the one that she is wearing. But I just love it, and I love that she doesn't have a belt. A lot of her outfits, she goes beltless, which I just love that. I think it adds just a cool, like, sleek moment. And then I chose to wear my Jack Irwin Lola boots in the brown to just tie in the brown color. I like the leather with this rather than the suede. I think it just looks more, I don't know, I just feel like it pulls the outfit in better. But yeah, I am obsessed with this look. I feel like this is definitely a contender for New York as well. I have so many options and I'm so excited. And then again, the everyday black bag, I would probably pair with it. But yeah, I feel like this is such a good outfit that you can wear to so many different things because with the blazer, it dresses up a little bit, but also you can do like wear it very casually as well. So I feel like, again, this is a nice one if you are going throughout your day and then you have dinner later. This is a good outfit. You can either pair it with um, some trousers to dress it up or darker black jeans to dress it up a little bit more. I don't know why black jeans just give a little dressier vibe than blue jeans. So you could do that. But yeah, I, I am obsessed with that. So 
that is the end of this video. That is the last outfit that I am going to recreate. I hope you guys got inspired. Maybe you've been like me and been wearing the same thing every single day this winter and just haven't really realized it. So maybe this is your, I don't know, light bulb moment to test out a little bit more things in your wardrobe and be a little bit more creative. I know I really want to, so that's kind of what inspired me to film this video and I feel like I have some really great looks to wear for the rest of the winter and bring with me to New York. I feel like that's such a great way to spice up my routine and kind of share some love throughout my closet instead of just going back to the same old things that I've been doing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!